Good everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'm going to talk about tips and go chats around uh, Aura Component, which is important for you guys to know. So I'm I'm going to teach you today from a trailer, right? I don't want to create a slide. So it's just like, there's no point. I'm just copying pasting to a separate page. Instead, I can teach directly from here, right? Now, this is a little bit important for you guys to understand. The, the reason number one, uh, because... You know, I've seen sometimes Aura component, uh, you know, code uh, when developers start writing it and they they come to me and say, look, why this is not working, why that's not working. So um, that's one of the, the reason why I thought this is better for you guys to know. The first thing, right, uh, you know, if, you, if you're someone who's been doing extensive Apex development, right, you know that Apex is a case insensitive right there is no such thing called the case sensitive but when it comes to javascript that's not the case right because javascript is a case sensitive it's like uh uh you know c-sharp language right if you are someone who came from a c-sharp background then you will say oh okay this is pretty much similar because c-sharp is a case sensitive language but apex is not the case the same goes with uh delphi language delphi or you know the pascal it's not case sensitive so like they gave an example, right? If you do, if you have an ob expense object, right, and if you wanted to access the field amount, and if you try to normally re reference, say, something like this in JavaScript, it will fail because you're using a different case. The case plays a very important role, right? So you know you have to pay a little bit of attention to it because I have seen certain JavaScript code, not just on the Salesforce side of things, but in, you know, when I uh, used to. Uh, when I did some work on uh, React JS, when the people used to write the helper method, right? Uh, sometimes they fiddle with the case and wonder why it's not working. So, um, so you have to understand that, right? Um, and you know, if it's it's not because there's no compile time checking as such, right? It's a dynamic runtime checking. So sometimes you don't get the right error message. So you know, which can be frustrating. That's exactly what they mentioned here as well. So you have to pay very special attention to the case sensitivity when you're working with Aura uh, or JavaScript, or for that matter, if you're working with LWC, right, which uses JavaScript, right? So the JavaScript, what I meant by that, this is not a JavaScript, right? So JavaScript, I meant by that is this one. This is uh, this is a JavaScript code. So, you, you know, it supports the case sensitivity. There's something I've demonstrated, right, in my previous episode, you know, how to write an Aura component using uh, LDS, right? Um, so that's one thing you have to keep in consideration. Okay, now there's another thing which is interesting, Lightning Locker, okay? Now, by default, for any, if you use your uh, Aura component version 40 and above, it's, it's Lightning Locker enabled. If you use below that, it's disabled. Okay, now that's all look good. Now you must be wondering what the heck is Lightning Locker, right? Obviously, that's that's a, uh, that's a good question to ask. Okay, so if you're if you are so, someone out there who has no idea what Lightning Locker is about, Lightning Locker, in simple terms, is a security architecture for Lightning components. Okay, it is a security architecture. Uh, it actually, I don't know, someone is moving the damn bloody lawn at this time of the day. Sorry about that. Uh, so Lightning Locker, you know, it actually increases your security by uh, isolating your lightning component uh, which specifically belongs to one namespace from a component in a different namespace so you know uh, so the lightning locker the main advantage of the lightning locker right it promotes the best practices like I'm going to demonstrate now so for instance right a JavaScript okay so it enforces a strict mode when it comes to JavaScript okay so you remember you might you might have used use strict construct when you're using the JavaScript uh, but if you use the Lightning Locker, you don't have to do that. Um, so that's exactly what it says here. Um, here, right? That's exactly what it says. So what that will do, when you write a JavaScript code, you can't do something like this. You have to specify where or let, right? So you can't do something like this. So they enforced a strict mode, uh, which is, in my opinion, it's you know it's pretty um, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and also, you should explicitly attach a variable to the Windows object to create a global variable that is available across components or libraries. If you are, uh, if the Lightning Locker is enabled, uh, you can't. Otherwise, you can't do that. Um, so the libraries, right, that your components use, 
must also work in a strict mode okay so that's one of the uh one of the thing you have to keep into consideration okay uh so yeah that's that's one of the thing right i mean i'm and then uh there is uh, it also helps with the dom access containment so you know so what that means is that a, a component right can only traverse the dom and access element created by a component uh, in the same namespace. Okay, so that's I hope that's clear. So this is done to stop the anti-pattern behavior of reaching into DOM elements owned by a component in other namespace. Because I've seen that you know some of the code that's been doing it, which is not a good practice, right? Um, so that's you know that's a pretty important stuff in my opinion. Um, so you can't uh, also if you if you're used to eval right e v a l function right uh, so there that's pretty much limited by lightning locker um, all right my apologies for the sound I don't know this is just insane right I mean uh, this is one of the the problem I say in especially in my city right. You know, we don't had much population before. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, you know, rest of the part of the world. There's a massive population surge happening. And when a lot of people coming in, you know, it will disturb the noise. That it, Sorry, it will cause more noise. You know, I, I, you know, I'm from a small town, right? I prefer to keep the city small town in a small town way. I didn't mean offense, but, you know, that's why I moved out from, you know, big cities like Auckland or Wellington. I don't live there. It's just way too big for me. And, you know, yeah. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a soundproof room. So I think probably I'll do something next time. All right. Okay. Sorry, Douglas. Okay. So I was talking uh, about uh, eval function, right? Eval function um, uh, is only supported, uh, the use of eval function, right, in Lightning Locker. It's supported to enable the use of third-party libraries that evaluate code dynamically right so that's you know that's and um yeah so that's that's one of the you know advantage of using the uh the lightning uh locker and also you know like i said you know in a dom i talked about reference to global i talked about and also it combines the tighter content security policy to prevent the cross-site scripting attack. So, you know, that's why I mentioned, right, when I talked about the Lightning Locker, it is a security architecture. As you can see that we are dealing with the security aspect. And you should understand if you're an Aura developer, right, why are we doing this one, right? If And if so if you want all this nice to have feature, you should not... Uh, downgrade your API version to less than 40, right? That might cause an issue. So just for your, you know, sake of your understanding. Um, so, and this is about the content security I talked about, right? And I also talked about ev eval function, right? Um, so yeah, this is a pretty basic lecture, right? But I just thought it's good that for you guys to know, right? And also there's something called the memes type, M-I-M-E, types permitted. So what happens is, right, the lightning locker, okay, they, it analyzes the meme type used in the blob objects. If you, if you know what blob objects are, right? It's like, you know, blob objects usually store pictures and images, right? Um, so the locker, right, the, it permits some meme types, you know, and, and you know, and blocks the rest. So there is a, it's so this is something you have to understand if you're working on the blob type. So there are these other things. It just, I mean, it's good for you guys, to know, right? I mean, uh, I mean, I don't do extensive Aura work. I mean, I do most of my work on LWC, unless you know uh, certain things which LWC can do. So I, I go to Aura, right? But the first rule of thumb for me, you know, let's see if we can do using LWC. If can't. Why can't we do it? And can we use Aura? And if you're using Aura, we have to have a roadmap in place in future when our you know, sales for support to move to LWC. So that's that's a kind of it's it's a kind of a part of a governance framework, right? So you have in place so that you manage your uh, you know future roadmap in place, right? So yeah, sorry, I digress, but but.
but that being said, right, um, this is pretty much I wanted to talk about today. So, yeah, I mean, I would highly encourage you to go to this trailer page and, and read about it, right? This is, and then you can also, you know, try these questions if you want to try, right? You know, I'm, <laughs> I'll be very honest with you guys that, you know, I'm not very, <laughs> very good in doing, you know, the questions here. I'm very good in doing, solving the real life problems. Like, you know, I've worked on, you know, I've, I've done a lot of work on Salesforce side, but I've done the real customer you know, side of things where I prop, solve the real problem. Trailhead is okay. I and mean, if you are starting out, you know, new to Salesforce space, Trailhead is a great place. Or if you don't know certain things, right, then you can go to Trailhead. But um, to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of badges or other kind of things, right? That's my personal opinion, right? I rather prefer to, you know, not to do in a confined environment rather than I, I can go and do my own stuff in, in, in my own work just to see how things works and try to expand it to the way I understand. That's the way I learn, but, you know, each one is different, right? All right, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. Have a great day.